Now here's how he does it. He has a shallow pan filled with a thick but not sticky liquid. Well, <laughs> I've got a little bit of color on here from the last sheet I did, and I'm going to clean this surface off. I'm going to skim it twice. If you don't have a real fresh surface, uh, the colors don't expand properly. So this is one of the irritating parts of the job. Then he applies the colors he wants to use, sometimes sprinkling, sometimes putting on bigger drops. The different colors don't mix, and they don't get layered. New colors push the old colors aside. Now what are we going to do here? I'm going to rake it. That's when people say, ooh. Right. And then when you go this way, it's just like fireworks. They go, ah. Wow. Okay, now this is going to be a zebra pattern, but it's not zebra yet. But I liked it the way it was before. Oh. I mean, I like this too, but you could yeah. actually have left it. Oh, in certainly that could have. Right. Could have picked it right up like that. And I'll lay it down flat. Another thing that's hard to do when you're learning to put it down is not to tremble when you lay the sheet. That's what the English would call zebra. All the colors he put down are now on the paper, and to make another, he starts all yeah. over again. He can use his comb to make swirls. <laughs> 